Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship you. Thank you for your word. Ancient of days be exalted in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you for you that is hearing me right now. I pray the Lord give you understanding. Please like this video and share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Now I was sitting here and I hear the word be saved. Somebody you need to be saved and you need to know God for yourself. You see salvation that we are talking about. I know many people don't want to hear it. Many people don't want to hear this message because it is not what they want to hear. But for you that is willing to learn, I pray that God open your eyes. It is time for you to know God for yourself. It is possible you are born again, but you only know God through others. You only hear from God through others. Is it wrong to hear from God through others? No. Is it, is it wrong to like know God through others? No. But it is very important for you to know God for yourself, for you to hear from God for yourself, as you are hearing God through others, hear God through you as well. The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 10 from verse 9, the Bible said that if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. <laughs> Now, when you are saved, you are expected to live like Christ. You are expected to know God. As you fellowship with the brethren, which God wants you to be so that we can sharpen in ourselves, you also need to know God personally for yourself so that in this journey, you will not get confused. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified. It is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God expects you to grow. <laughs> God expects us to grow. You can't just remain a baby. You are saved. Yes, you know God now. You want to know more of God? Please study the word of God. When you study the word of God, you will find a lot of strength to be saved more and more. You will be conscious of your salvation. You will know how important your salvation is. When you study the word of God, when you draw closer to God, you will not have time to concentrate on what the enemy is doing. As you concentrate on the word of God, it's like you are very bulletproof. Hear me now why it is so important, even when you are in the midst of an attack, for you to concentrate on the word of God. When you concentrate on the word of God, even the attack you are hearing, everything that you are being faced, you are seeing the word of God to even overcome it it's like you are wearing a bull a bulletproof many christians have gone astray seeking god in a very wrong way if you don't know god for yourself in this time where we are people will deceive you some will tell you to come and let me read your destiny some will tell you that oh bring card this is divine they will start doing divination you will want to hear because your ears are itching they will tell you, bring money, let me do this for you, let me look at your destiny. Please, don't involve yourself in those things. God has already given you the power, the authority. The word of God is powerful. Know God for yourself and be saved. Even if you said, oh, I'm saved, I know God for myself. I know God for myself. Please be conscious of your salvation. It is very important. Be conscious of your salvation. Be steadfast in the Lord. I pray may the Lord help you in the name of Jesus. It is well with you. Jesus love you and I love you. By the grace of God, I will see you again. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. Bye-bye.